But I need you to do a test for me though. I need you to, can you come and slot, can you see the camera that's on the top there? We need to set it up so that I'm, Liam, Liam was like giving me, can we slot, first of all, can you slide it along, Let's see? Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, that's pretty good. Sidewise. Nice. There you go. I'm just worried it's too big now. No, no, I just need it smaller. Okay. Welcome everyone. My name is uh, Sisyphus, or Oliver, or Ollie to most people. Um, if you've joined us, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate the assistance. While I get kind of sorted, I've never uh, streamed before on Twitch, so I thought I'd start with something nice and nice and easy <laughs> which is uh, going to be a full uh, stream of uh, all of the FromSoft modern titles going from Demon Souls which was released in 2009 all the way up to uh, Elden Ring which came out this year as we know as we watch the amazing intro to the first one so, just a couple of ground rules before we get started on there, because I know there'll be a few people um, wanting to just clarify on what what this actually means. These games are, of course, notoriously difficult, <laughs> and um, so I'm going to be doing it without leveling up my character, which is, of course, incredibly difficult. I'll just go and change the settings here, maybe make it a little little bit quieter on the audio. Okay, hopefully that'll work. So yeah, so we'll just have some ground rules here then, okay? So for those of you who are Souls veterans, you'll know how this kind of works. Soul level one or no leveling runs are pretty uh, standard. Um, hopefully I'm going to be doing uh, a few different things that will mean that you'll tune in every week. So first of all, what I'd like to clarify, I'm going to be doing all bosses. That's everything with a boss bar. Uh, 381 bosses. That's a stupid amount. Um, I'm, a, I'm aware of that, but they're all pretty much great. There's a few duffers in there, but I'm a lot more forgiving of some of them than other people. Um, and I think there's, there's good things about almost all of the bosses, um, except for a couple of notorious exceptions that we'll get to as we fight them. So that includes all mini bosses in Sekiro, uh, all the story Chalice Dungeon bosses in Bloodborne, and all optional bosses in Elden Ring. So there's 165 bosses in Elden Ring. There's no character leveling permitted on any of the seven runs. So for Sekiro, this means no prayer beads for health or defense. Um, but we can include attack power um, because that will be treated the same as leveling up your weapons. Um, enemies that feel like they should have a boss bar. Um, so we've got Havel from DS1. Um, the kind of the Tibia Mariner uh, in Elden Ring that doesn't have a boss bar. It's a bit weird. Um, I'm still going to try and fight them. Um, we'll see whether or not um, I beat them. You know, we'll give them a go, but ultimately uh, I'm not obligated to beat them. So as you can see, Bluepoint did an incredible job with the 2020 remake of Demon's Souls. It looks unbelievable. It does feel a bit weird, I did debate whether to start with this one, because although it was 
the gameplay was the same. It, it looks better than any of the other titles. So it's a bit strange that you're starting with that one first about the evolution of the series, whereas this one is by far the best looking of the seven. But ultimately I decided the gameplay is pretty identical. And the bosses are, you know, so, so much of the beginning of FromSoft's journey that I think it was the right thing to do. But obviously, bearing, worth bearing in mind that the first, the, uh, the first one looks the best, which is bizarre. And as we finish the intro there, the majestic dragon god okay there it is demon souls released in 2009 uh, it was the labor of love for Miyazaki and the team by the sound of it and it was only really with dark souls that things really took off in the popular mainstream consciousness as we know so this one um, was crying out for a remake for 15 years um, but never really um, took off or people because it was only on the ps3 people didn't really want to uh didn't really have an opportunity to play it um and it's only with this ps5 remake that things are really starting to to kind of kick off so we'll stay offline for now for this first one i might decide to go online for future streams um but let's see we'll start online so when you're doing no uh leveling runs the only person that you can be is royalty that's the only soul level that's the soul level one character that we've got there and let's give him a casual name so unfortunately that name was taken on twitch um, but that's the character that i'm going to be basing this on um, sisyphus the famous uh, in greek mythology or Roman mythology was, of course, the character that was endlessly sentenced in the afterlife to be pushing a, a huge boulder up a hill um, until the end of time. Obviously, there will be parts of this challenge that will feel like that because some of the bosses are stupidly hard as it is without um, being at the lowest possible character level. In this time, obviously, um, We'll be talking a little bit about the lore uh, of the characters and uh, the people that we meet along the journey. And so it'll just be hopefully a little bit of a, an all-around um, an all around journey that we'll take together. Hopefully more and more people will join us as we come along. So let's just see. Let's just try and see what item we're going to go with first. Uh, fire arrows, providential ring. I don't know how many items I really need. Mm, there's not too many good things. That, there's no in later games. There'll be some obvious items that we'll want to start with. From what I can see here, don't think this is one of them. So let's give things a. Let's start with the. Right, let's start with the ring. You could probably never go. And don't really care so much about that as you can see the character creator absolutely ridiculous with the level of details that we can go into I tend to make my characters bald as I'm bald before we get too distracted with that I can't figure it out <laughs> okay give him a big beard cool I think he's all good to go okay so just some of the other rules as well um, so all although all of the intro bosses will count for this run um, so that includes people like uh, Genichiro and Sekiro. So I will be fighting them as the, they have their own boss bar. Unfortunately, with Demon Souls on the PS5, there isn't a way to 
um, delete your individual save file without deleting all of them, which is a, a bit stupid for a, a 2022 modern title. So um, with the, when it comes to the Vanguard Demon, I will, I will obviously try and beat him, but he does turn up later in the game. So w just worth pointing out with this first boss, who has a boss bar, um, because I'm not able to restart the game um, without the save file, um, deleting the save file. I don't really want to clog up my PS5, so I'm taking a bit of artistic license that even if we die to this guy at the start, um, I will have a chance to kill him later on, and that will count as beating the that particular boss. Um, I just want to point out that, that that is the only time out of these 381 bosses that that will be taking, uh, taking part. Uh, when it comes to there's no glitching, no cheating, um, obviously cheesing and farming are completely acceptable i'm on soul level one for christ's sake give me a chance <laughs> anything i can do to get past this particular boss uh, i'll use it any cheating any cheesy methods that's absolutely fine um there's no worry about that at all but obviously uh, just to let you know that <laughs> um there's not going to be actually any formal cheating i'm playing on ps5 and playing all the other games on ps5 no no cheat codes no logging out anything like that um, no summons. I'm not going to be summoning anyone to help me, so that's no online playable characters in the game. So no Solaire in DS1, um, and no online summons either. I've got to beat these guys. I've got to beat them just by myself with my own skill, luck, and um, endless repetition until I finally figure out the moves, probably more likely. This is going to take as long as it takes. That's the final rule. This is going to take as long as it takes. Some games are more linear than others, and I reserve the right to go to another boss if I'm um, stuck on one and, and another one is available. Um, but I, none of them will be skipped. I will be fighting and killing all 381 bosses in this series. Um, and I will put up a, a kind of a spreadsheet in the, um, in the Twitch channel for myself. Um, so that you can see kind of my progress uh, and make sure that I haven't missed any as well. Um, so we're not skipping any bosses, but of course, um, if I'm had two episodes where I'm <laughs> dying endlessly and not making any progress, I do reserve the right to maybe go somewhere else and beat someone else. But anyway, enough of my yakking. Let's get on with it. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls, lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fisher to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer. The sixth Saint Astraea with her night gal Vinland. And Sage Frake, the visionary. A 
colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Definitely would. So that was the uh, intro there. Obviously, um, one thing I think that immediately stands out is that Demon Souls is a bit more of a, a straightforward narrative than some of the uh, the other games, Dark Souls um, 1, 2, and 3 in particular. You know, it's pretty clear what, what we want to do. It, it sets the scene amazingly. Um, and some of those characters in FromSoft tradition, we're going to be fighting some of those people as, as bosses and enemies, and then some of them are just NPCs in the game that we meet. But all of them are important to the overall narrative. There's the mood lighting. I shall guide you to the fissure. Well, there we go. Really just walking. You know what it's like when you're walking across a river and all of a sudden a massive um, portal opens in the middle. I hate it when that happens. Okay, so what have we got? We've got some health, we've got some anti-poison stuff. Let's see, okay, I've got my... That's for magic, that's for a sword, and then I've got a buckler as well. So, I have been doing some parrying practice. I'm not really much of a parrier in previous games, but I've thought that maybe they might be quite useful in this game. So, he's not really going to attack me, is he? So generally, I'm going to try and stick to playing the uh, the levels themselves, which are obviously incredibly challenging, with maybe using sword and shield and saving my magic for the bosses. Let's see how that works out. But yeah, I was practicing parrying a while ago, but unfortunately, it seems like with this, you really don't get a chance to to parry so much that they gang up backstabbing seems to be a much more effective way of doing it. Okay. So just a full disclosure, I've never beaten the intro tutorial boss in this game. It seems to be above my skill level. I've, I've tried, God knows I've tried. There's plenty of save files that just says that I've tried. I just don't, just can't seem to manage to do it. And of course there will be other intro bosses that I have to defeat now. Um, otherwise I restart the game, which is going to be scintillating for you viewers to watch <laughs> as I try and do it. But um, for those, I apologize. I'll try and re as I try and remember how to uh, get over this. <laughs> There we go. I mean, the graphics are amazing in this one. It's incredible the job that they've done on the, the remix. I know a lot of people feel like they should do this for Bloodborne. And I'd probably be quite supportive of that. I'm not entirely sure where you are in this introductory area. I'm assuming it's some kind of weird part of Boletaria, but um, it's not immediately obvious. Kind of, <laughs> this place exists outside of the normal geography of the game. So finally, there you go. First person to. I promise that I'm not just going to be stabbing men up the arse for two hours. I can give you my word on that. It's just got to get to the... Got to get to the boss. OK, 
Okay, maybe we'll try parrying on this guy because there's just one of them. There we go. Parrying's a bit rusty. But the trusty backstab will see me through all the way. And here, of course, those guys, lower level knights of the court. Here we face our first serious enemies and someone is going to be an absolute pain in my backside for this soul level one run. The bloody blue knights. They are not... Not quite as bad as the red ones, but they're definitely no joke. This guy just checking out the scenery. Not entirely sure what he was doing. Not really giving me much of a chance to... Okay. Let's just let's try let's try magic then and see how that goes. Yeah. Don't really want to waste it on him there. So they're pretty pretty difficult enemies. In fact, that shield's pretty nice. I probably want to get my hands on that at some point if I can. This guy's just not giving me a single second. There we go. Finally. Not dropping anything decent for me, that's a bit of a shame. Maybe they don't drop anything in the tutorial area, but we'll see how we go. Nearly the end of the tutorial level. And I will do anything to get to the end of these. If it needs it requires a cheesy method or something like that, I'm gonna need to do it. It's a lot it's gonna be a long old slog to the end. I've never done any uh, soul level one runs before. Um, I've completed and platinumed all of these games, but I've never uh, and I've done different kind of <sighs> individually set challenges for myself, like only using uh, one particular weapon in Bloodborne. But I've never done I've never done a Soul Level One run before, so I thought, how better else than to publicise it on the internet, where everyone can kind of laugh at me and my uh, lack of souls, lack of souls moxie. But we'll find out anyway. So we're about to fight our first boss. The only time in the whole. 381 bosses that if I die I'm not going to retry him mainly because I can't retry him without having to start a whole new save file and I can't delete the old ones so just again wanted to point that one out but let's see how we go I'm going to go with magic on this one try and give him a wide berth uh, let's switch to the better health let's see how we go I might die immediately he does his first big swing 
that might just kill me immediately. But let's see how we go. Well, there you go. There we go. Well, nothing else to say there except he's an arsehole. But we'll be coming back for him. We'll be coming back to get revenge on him. He will not escape. Yes, thank you for reminding me that I've died. That's uh, very embarrassing. But here we have the Nexus, which is, of course, one of the most stunning hub worlds in the entire FromSoft catalogue. Or well, certainly how they've done it on the remix. Who's this guy? Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land? And be remembered as a hero. <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the archstones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Voluntaria. You came for demon souls? Yep. Or to save this land? And be remembered as a hero. I think I came for Demon Souls. Same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. We're welcome here. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the Scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Okay, well... So he's our, so Stockpile Thomas is an interesting NPC who hopefully we're going to be um, doing some more with his storyline later if I can remember to pick up a few items. But at the moment what he really serves as in the whole uh, world is for my storage, as most of you might already know. Um, so nothing. Pretty happy with the setup that we've got here. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a coward when I came to I was in this nexus I haven't dared venture outside these walls since I wish I could do more but <laughs> I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls Pretty sad story. Mm, you knew here. Are you here for my services? The name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. 
It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a oh. bad deal, eh? Yeah, that's pretty good. So... Okay, can we upgrade it? Maybe uh, just do got enough damage yet to. I haven't got enough arsenal yet, um, souls to do that. I think probably because we died. Okay. I don't think, and of course, what we who we saw at the beginning of that intro was the maiden in black. She's not uh, around right now. I don't think, or if she is. She can't do anything for us, um, and in fact, we're not going to be having much interaction with her in the entire run. I've just realised because her function is to level up your character, and we uh, are not going to be doing that. So that is pretty intense. I've just realised <laughs> the scale of the task in front of me. I'm not going to be speaking to Repelli at all. I might check in with her occasionally just to see how she's getting on, but no, no leveling of my character. So here we find Volataria Palace. The uh, first of the five arch stones and, and really uh, you can see again what an incredible job that they've done with this remake but also secondly that you know even starting in the first level of the first game um, from soft it's a it's a classic thing castles castles and dragons and everything that scratches that fantasy itch So let's see how we go. Eh? Out, good start. Decent parry. Hopefully, I'm hoping with enough practice, the parry is going to be improved as we can see through this game. But like I said, I'm still really learning it as a skill. Ah, oh, that's a big door. Not opened, but it soon will be. So as we can see, fire, everyone in this castle carrying fire. They're like, that might be a clue as to how things are going to go. And what might help us as we proceed throughout this treacherous path, certainly in Volataria. for that although like most people I did die by falling down that hill <laughs> an early trap that they didn't even really bother to conceal 
like hiding in plain sight. Okay. We'll have a, we'll talk about uh, pure black and pure white world tendency kind of as it becomes more relevant. I don't think it's so relevant here right now, but um, as you can see in the top left, that's my health. Uh, in this game, it's kind of cut down to half because I'm in so when I'm in soul form. If you die when you're in human form, um, well, when you're in human form, you get more health. That that bar is full, but. Um, also, enemies become harder once you died in enough times that you turn the world to black tendency, which is... Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it as a mechanic, to be honest. So the first thing we're going to need to do is try and get our hands on a ring that is going to give us a bit more health when you're in soul form. I think I know where that is. This might not necessarily be the best tactic. Uh, this this might not. I just don't want you to think that this is going to be the only tactic that I'm going to use in um, in the whole of this game. But for these enemies, out oh, it definitely might be. Okay, I'm gonna get my hand on that somehow. Like I said, just amazing. Just amazing vistas around here. You can see that's where we started over there. So immediately the the FromSoft level design that we'll hopefully get to see. to remember that happening <laughs> hopefully it's worth it <coughs> okay Just here that we definitely don't want to mess around with. Hopefully this. Bit. Phew. Okay, got to decide what we want. Trap can definitely one-shot you. It's got me many times before. Okay. Let's have a quick look up here and see what's going on with that area that we just left here. Let's see if there's anything in here.
but he killed himself. <laughs> Whoopsie. Ow. Okay. It's going pretty smoothly at the moment. Obviously, gonna maybe wait for there'll be a stupid death somewhere soon. No, my luck. Again, I'm far from. Oh dear. <laughs> There's the first one I spoke too soon. Spoke too bloody soon. I can't believe that was. I mean, although having said that, it's probably quite appropriate that the first death in any of these games is from gravity as we all know the hardest boss of all of the games is gravity just a little test here to see as well how far the, le the leashes are on these guys whether they'll stop following me at a certain point Okay, so we kind of got back to where we were. I'd be curious to see how many of these guys follow me. Might have to deal with them when we get here. Okay, so there's a couple. He's coming in. Thank you very much. And it seems like that must be a deliberate design thing they've put in there for you guys, to, uh, for those guys to kind of commit. <laughs> I've got my souls back, of course, and like I said, I'm assuming most of the people that would watch uh, a, a level one stream throughout all of the games are going to have some fundamental knowledge there. So uh, I'm trying to not over explain it, but of course, worth bearing in mind, certainly in Demon Souls, um, you get one chance to get your souls back if you die a second time they ain't you've lost them forever so let's see whether or not so that was one of my priority there I didn't need to fight all of those guys again Oof. whoa Christ Well, that was that calls for a another drink. <laughs> Brutal. We really want the ring that's down there. I think that's where the ring is. That will bump up my health when I'm in soul form. We really want that because even for a soul level one character, I'm. Weak as a kitten here, I think. Too vulnerable. All these enemies in this area do these huge jumping attacks, which, well, most of them, um, which makes them really uh, kind of easier to run past, I would say. But I've got to manage that, that 
corridor area. I'm being way too naive with that. I'm far too. Uh, I'm letting myself get far too kind of caught up in it. Follow me if I go down those stairs. I think he probably will, won't he? If I hide. Yep, yeah, no, he's coming. He's coming. Whoa! Ah, oh dear. Oh, God. <laughs> No one likes it, and, and him as well. Get that back on. Wasted too many of those good helps. Maybe a better idea would be to pick them off from distance here. I've done that bit. Whew, okay. So now we're getting close to where we want to be. As you can tell from my blood stain over there. What's the, that might be the, the blue knight died there. Okay, let's see if I can pick them off here. Yeah, that's going to be more sensible. Oof. Really need that ring. Another one. Crikey. Go. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. What does that do? Slowly restores MP. Okay. They might be our two rings that we need. Pretty much. Okay, dokie. Whew. In fact, I will show that. It's worth worth just pointing out here. This is the first ever example. Obviously, we're trying to look for, um, you know, I'm not a games designer, but we'll have a look through the kind of, I know enough about these games and obsessed enough about these games to see, um, to point out examples when they occur. Of course, worth pointing out, if this bit looks familiar to you, that the shortcut that we've just opened is right back to the start. And this is, I, this is the first example of those famous FromSoft shortcuts. Right, so we got ourselves a good ring. That's what we needed. And then, now we need to find a way to open that door. Good, ca good cardio, this guy. Oh, no more blue knight. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's see if I can talk. To oh yes. Uh oh. Woo! Out.
going to tidy up this a bit. I don't really need these right now. I'll hold those. Anything else? Mm, not for right now. But some of those items are going to be quite useful for our boss. Fucking halberds, man. Of course, canonically, this probably means that Bolotar is in Scotland, given the accent of this guy. Plenty of amazing castles in Scotland. <laughs> okay. Mm, uh, I feel like I want. I feel like the light crossbow is probably going to be a good idea at some point. But I don't have quite enough health to I don't have quite enough money to buy that yet, eh? Okay. Close. I can't actually see how much money I've got where the camera is. So I do want to. I'm going to buy the crossbow because that's going to be useful to have as well. Um, I'm going to save up money and get that from him and take a little bit of a risk. Because obviously, this is a very difficult game and you might die at any point. a bit more conservatively. I do tend to play melee overall with these these games. Um, magic it will it will feature um, but I think with Soul Level 1 you're not going to be uh, outside of Demon Souls you're not really going to be playing magic that, that often. The definitely don't want to get ganked. Uh oh Keep moving. Can we get over here? Yep. Okay. Oh dear. And a spot of bother here. Oh dear. God. <laughs> uh. Definitely don't want to. It's a major, major trouble, is 
But I'm looking for my first NPC. Uh oh. How to get down to him? How far are they going to chase me? Well, they do. Don't want to be standing next to those barrels when he's got fire bombs. Oh god. That was a close one. And I'm running out of running out of health. I need to know how to get over to Estrava really. That's the NPC I was trying to have a chat with. Evidently may not find a way to do his quest line. Let's see whether we've got enough souls now to go and have a word with them that buy that buy them from the, that crossbow from the merchant because that's going to be quite useful. Fingers crossed. All right. Ick. Ah. Uh, Eighteen. Ah. Uh, so close. I'm just going to roll into these, they're making me nervous. Okay, are we in a position, if we take this blue knight on, I do think it would probably... Oh dear. Hopefully, really hoping that we got those two thousand for the merchant. Need that crossbow. All right. We certainly do. Couple more of them. Excellent. Oh, we could do more damage with this mail breaker than the rapier. So let's switch to that. Oops. Okay. I have to use it in both hands. Okay, let's try the mail breaker out then. Let's do more damage. Now we've spent all our souls, I can be a bit more laissez-faire with the um, with this bit, I reckon. We just need to find a way to open that door. That's the top priority. I want to go over to have a chat with the Strava, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Try the mail out on him. Ha <laughs> ha Somehow survive that. Excellent, really good position. We've got a good amount of health for this first boss, who isn't the isn't the easy, uh, isn't the toughest. Famous last words, but I've never had too much problems with him.
There are going to be far more dangerous traps than that coming my way over the whole playthrough. <laughs> okay, so without spoiler alert, obviously, as you can tell, Demon Souls has five arc stones for five different areas. And two of them are my fate two of my favourites in the entire area in the entire series. This isn't one of them, but I do love Volataria very much. But Wow. Those pikes are some shit. Of that. Okay, we know where we need to go there. Let's see what's occurring down here. Well, well, well. Unfortunately, I don't think we can go up there right now. But look at all those nice things. But that's why. Yeah. Hopefully there'll be a way to come around and kill those guys later on. I'll pick them all. No. Really need him. I really wanted the dragon to give me a hand with that. Also, I mean, just to point out. I know that I'm not doing a very good job of using my shield to block attacks. I tend to have not played with the shield, so it's a bit of a new thing for me. No, it's not gonna. Ow. Thank you. And I'm a bit rusty as well, I just want to point out I've been playing Elden Ring pretty much non-stop for like the last two months. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, maybe not. Right, major progress. Uh, 
Okay. We've opened that door. Oh, got the parry right, finally. Everything's coming together. <coughs> Definitely could do without three fellas, though. Okay. There's a lot of them. There's a lot going on. Ow. Oh dear. Thank goodness for that. Okay, we need to really get ourselves set for this, I need some space. Oh, goodness me. Sloppy, sloppy. Might be everyone, and then we can get ourselves set for this boss. The iframes are saving me right now. Okay. them we'll have one of them this might be the kindest run up to a boss um, in this game so I do need to remember that, that I'm going to try it now without going back to the Nexus and spending any money on anything because why not oh I can't forget these guys can't forget that guy sorry I can't forget you How could I? Okay, well, here we go. First proper out of the 381. Not counting you, Vanguard Demon, you asshole. moving keep moving got a good shot in on him there So disgusting with all the
I'm being slow and sturdy. I'm, I know that I'll be in videos on the internet being like how to kill phalanx in three seconds or something like that, but I want to get off to a good fly. I'm a little bit scarred from the Vanguard Demon as well. And just get our first boss win up and running. And it's a cool boss, it's a cool design. I like it. I've got a lot of time for it. Okay. We're getting to the vulnerable. Wait, no, what the? What's going on here? That was gross. That one was just chilling there. a bit sloppy. Uh oh. Plenty of these guys up there. I do a really good job of protecting him. I'm a little unclear as to whether or not... Oh no, they're regenerating him. They've regenerated him. I never knew that they did that before. Finally. And we're off and running. Cool. Nice stuff. That's what we wanted. So now we have a decision to make. Obviously, as you can tell from the top left of my health bar, I'm in human form, so this means that I'm, I've got more health while I'm in human form. But if I die in human form, it slowly turns the world black. And that will make enemies more difficult. It's more difficult, so I've got a decision about whether or not I'm going to tackle these areas in human form or not. Um, I'll go back to the Nexus for now and see. Can't make a decision. Welcome back. The monumental awaits the above. Okay. Let's have a look. I don't think you can do anything with her. 
Yeah, okay, the monument awaits me above. Right. Yeah, I, I thank you very much. I get that one. Thanks, Karen. It's going to be so weird getting used to not um, <laughs> not <laughs> levelling up. It's just such a habit. And to be honest, I might find <coughs> the other bosses definitely more of a challenge. Phalanx isn't that hard a boss, to be honest. I've really got much of an excuse. We have long awaited you, slayer of demons. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is a tale I wish to tell you. Once... We too are the scourge of demons face. In the distant past, under benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. This is pretty cool law stuff. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colourless, deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to its slumber. I mean, that's implying there's like aliens? Only after the loss of innumerable souls, and most of the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six leaders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet industrious land. Volataria. One to the king of the burrowers underground. The Stonefang. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. Uh, that's Latria. Can't wait to go there. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. And we know the value of defilement. One to the shaman of the tempest worshipping shadowman. The, the shine of storms. Of the giants of the northern lands. And of course, the, the six dark stones the never completed. We contain the old one here below the nexus and prohibited the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. So we can now tackle the levels in any order. So, I mean, they're all going to be equally difficult on Soul Level 1. I think maybe, shall I, I think I am going to suicide. Way! Uh-oh! So if you die in the Nexus, it won't affect your Soul Level rating for the other for the other parts of it so although I've just realized it might be useful for me to have my uh, to spend spend the souls that I do have so I'll go and pick them back up if I can find them <coughs> might have been a catastrophic error early in my run because uh, I think I've got a decent amount of souls there for defeating phalanx let's have a look and see if I can find them uh, Oh dear. Well, let's see if they're here anyway. They might not be. Uh, yeah, they are. Beautiful. Of course, worth pointing out that that mechanic, I don't know if that wasn't a, a thing in video games before that. If someone watches this uh, later on on a YouTube video, um, 
watches this on YouTube and wants to pop a comment there telling me if, if that uh, mechanic was used in a, an earlier game, then um, I'll be, I'm happy to be educated. But, um, you know, dying and then you have one chance to get your all of your souls back. It's such a brilliant idea for a mechanic. That, that ornament. That means she didn't me ask a favour. Would you mind giving me that hair ornament? Oh, okay. Yeah, of course. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I found it discarded on the main road. It might look ordinary, but it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It'll be happier in your hands. Happy to help if I knew what it was. Be happy to you. Okay. Mm. Probably happy with that. In this, your equip load does really matter. Um, so you do want to kind of get into the habit of uh, spending things that you, putting things aside that you don't want to use. I'm not going to be able to use that, so I might as well I think keep the rapier for now. Yep. Thanks. I've got to keep everything. Uh, oh, the rapiers are actually do more damage. I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, let's keep the rapier for now. I like it. Oh, I don't have the required equipment anyway. Mm. Maybe the battle axe might be quite good. Maybe too heavy to swing. Probably need some bolts. All right, let's give the battle axe a go, and then anything I don't, that's quite useful. You come back alive. I need your business. Let's see how that goes. Okay. So. I think we will do one, two. Try and defeat the enemy there and we'll see how we go we can always go back to always try the first level in other areas if it's not going our way but I could possibly have made a mistake there maybe the first maybe some more health would have been good uh, really ganging up on me here Dropping anything decent. Oi! Sneaky devil. Oh. This level is 
very annoying and it might involve me having to kill the red dragon in it. if I can make it Oof. by the skin of my teeth One definitely does a lot more. Let's see. Okay. Let's see whether that will please this guy. in for a scintillating next 10 minutes while I kill this guy. Wonder whether maybe the crossbow will be more effective. Well, I've only got 48. Only got forty eight crossbows. It's working. I've got the skeptic spice as well that I can use to top up the magic. Unfortunately, it is kind of essential to do this to be able to progress through the level to take on the tower knight. If there was a way of, of skipping the dragon altogether, I definitely would do it. Unfortunately, there is not. I encourage anyone who's watching now to maybe go and grab a drink, go to the toilet, this would be a good time.
it's obviously not ideal for our, <coughs> my, my first episode to have such a uh, boring section. Maybe it's a flaw in the game design, I don't know, but it's really not ideal to have to be doing this. It's got to be done at some point. So I think we'll get up to the tower night hopefully um, today, defeat him, that'll be the target for the end of this first episode, first two bosses of Boletari done, depending on how long it takes to take this, to kill this red twat, um, we might try and squeeze in one more, but there's no way of knowing. The worst. This is the worst part of. Um, of maybe it's hoping it will be the worst part of the whole game. So of course, just a reminder: it's all Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Sekiro, and then Elden Ring to finish off with as well. The spreadsheet's got 381 bosses in it. I'm pretty sure that that's of course everyone in there. Obviously, though, I encourage anyone to let me know if that's wrong. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to uh, have a few more hits at this guy, and then going to go on to the next hour and see whether or not we can pick him off easier and quicker from there. Just to keep things visually interesting as well would be good. one more and then we'll head on to the next tower okay. oh no these dogs the dogs the dogs oh god these dogs are intense. Oh, I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> a big fan of that backstab move. Never tried the axe before. That's insane. That's really fun. Can we get we'll pick up that thing that's there? No. Okay. Oh, items useful though. Right, there's some absolutely horrific dogs here. If I recall correctly. Somewhere up here. I'm 
I'm not totally ruling out going back to the shield at this time, but... Oh! God. Oh god, no. The dogs. The dogs. I'll figure out how to take these these bad boys on. They're not to be trifled with. One more here somewhere. Oh shit, there's two. Oh no. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. No. They really are assholes. As we all know that of course they are all are in Promsoft games. All of the dogs always absolute git. But anyone Disturbed by animal cruelty, I apologise. But to be fair, those aren't normal dogs. They have metallic muzzles. They're highly trained and very right wing. So if that makes you feel better about the fact that I just slaughtered five canines. And I love dogs, so... Just to point out there... That... Christ. Very big fan of that mechanic. Ah, we meet again. Fancy that. Hope you find something that suits you. Let's see what we've got here. Definitely need some more health. Um, anything else that we might want? Wooden bolt. Hmm. Probably just use that. For that. See if we're in a position now to pick off the dragon even better. Because this part is brutal. This is actually a really hard stage of the, the level. that dragon coming from. See if we can... See if we can get him. I'm going to see if we can get him. From here. Oh, we did get him. Hopefully I might be able to see how much health he's got left as well. Nope, he goes way too fast for that. I should have got more grinding here. Yeah. 
sent the bloody infantry in. Nice. Okay, that might be better though. Better, better view on him. <laughs> or maybe not. I don't know. Dear God, no. So that's where we want to go. Unfortunately, this part is really well barricaded. It might actually have to be up here. He just killed all of the things for me though, thank you. Let's see with this crossbow then. Let's try with the crossbow. I haven't used a crossbow before. 64 bolts. Okay. As you can tell, I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> that worked, somehow. Well now I zoom in with uh, the boat, the boat. I can't do it one hand, I can't do it, uh, I can't precisely do it, okay, because it's um, two handed. Okay, right. So let's go back to magic. This might be a slight, might be a slight problem. don't think I can get through to the Tower Knight without killing this guy. I don't think you're able to outrun his his flames. It might be possible, but I don't think it is. I think I've tried painfully many times. And not been able to do it. And of course, in a way that this is, serves as a nice uh, parable for what you're going to be seeing a lot with these uh, streams over the next however long it bloody takes me to do it, because I imagine that there's going to be bits where I'm going to be just grinding up against the wall, trying to defeat these bosses somehow, because I'm not some kind of gaming god. Um, so, you know, 
Hopefully it'll be a chance for us to chat a little bit and uh, get to know in, in the live chat. Hopefully as this uh, as this stream grows. But yeah, this might be the most tedious of all of the tasks that you need to do in Demon Souls. I wish I could see how much health he's got left because he's got like two, he's only taken 2% off, I, w I won't bother but I think he's, I think I'm taking a decent amount off. As you can see there with that ring my FP is regenerating. So I've got two Age Spice as well, that's going to help me. Okay, I'll try this one and then have another look down there to see if that works. Right, let's see if I'm able to look at that stunning. That's pretty crazy. I think I don't know if we came all the way there. I don't know if you ever get to finally see that, but just jaw dropping the graphics that they've done on this this remake. I never played the original but that's pretty spectacular. Okay, let's see if we're able to uh, okay. already get my first uh, spam messages on Twitch. I guess that's something I've had to I have to get used to. Apparently I can buy followers. Look, mate, you could just say that you didn't think my uh, my pres presenting skills are very good. You don't need to to insult me like that. Okay, let's see how we on, how on earth we can get to the. I don't need to. I don't need to buy followers. I'm quite happy with with one, one follower. <laughs> Hopefully, a few more people will join us on this journey. Just need to see. I can't remember how we can get to the, uh, there's all the dead dogs. How can we get to the, oh no. Ah, oh, here we go, yeah, okay. Okay, I reckon we can do this here maybe. Oh dear. Here you bow your head, sir. Oh, we haven't got long left. Oh, I think I saw he had quite a lot of health, low health bar there. Okay, that's motivated me to keep going. What a view indeed. Just the amount of life that's going on in there as well. As I waste more FP. Maybe we'll go back to the other <coughs> we'll go back to the other um, location knowing that it doesn't take. Yeah, because I'm missing here and I don't think he's got long left. So that's motivated me to do it. Let's go back to the other place. And I, again, I'd like to apologize, it's not gonna be the uh, it's not gonna be what we're going to do. I know that there will be some boss cheesing involved, but nothing that involves 20 minutes. It's just this one thing, and obviously we can see the design, maybe flaws that that ironed out by that later. 
Yeah, I mean, Miyazaki may not want me to go any further. Thanks, Duke. Um, he's a difficult, he's a he's a difficult chap who likes to challenge his audience. We know that. I also think he hates dragons. He wants to kill you. As, he wants you to kill as many dragons as he possibly can. All right, let's do this. Oh, I missed him. Okay, we're set up and ready to go. We can do this. He's barely got any time left. Your time is over, Red Dragon. Oh! As soon as we get back in there. Uh, oh no! I had it, I should have stuck to what I was doing before, it was working! Oh no, I've lost it completely. Oh, God, he's so close. Right. Oh, now he's not even clearing the barricade. Well, I don't really talk. I'm not a Grima worm tongue or whatever. What's that thing from Harry? Oh, there we go. We're hitting him again now. What's the parcel tongue? That's from Harry Potter where you can speak with the, the serpents and the dragons. I, I don't speak that. I'm struggling enough with uh, learning today and Māori at the moment, so... Speaking dragon might be a bit step too far for me. Okay. It's not going well. I had I had a good groove going. Always a lesson. If, you, if something's working, keep doing it. I should have committed to the keys. The keys has gone. There we go, working. Because the tower knight might take me a few guys, I've got to be honest with you. Yeah, it's working again. We're in the zone, we're in the zone. He's so close. I can feel his, 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 his lifeblood ebbing away. That's it. <laughs> Good. Right. As they so famously said in the end of uh, World, uh, World of Warcraft episode of South Park, now we can finally play the game. God, that dragon's annoying. So on the spreadsheet that you'll find in the Twitch uh, channel, there is also a... a the spreadsheet's got obviously all the 381 mandatory bosses that I've got to do. I have done a separate tab that's got the optional bosses. So he was one of them, um, along with your Havel and, and all of those kind of people. So kind of if we're going by that spreadsheet, that's hopefully two mandatory bosses and one optional boss today. And if anyone wants to chuck a comment in um, to either the YouTube channel or to the um, Twitch feed to let us know how, whether or not you can get through this area without killing that dragon, I'd be interested to know if there's a strategy to do it. But I haven't come up with anything. Cool. So Tower Knight's going to be a bit more straightforward. Lots of lovely goodies for me. Just a fantastic job with the I've got dead horses around everywhere. It's like a real castle in ruins. There's a few castles that we're going to see on this uh, on this journey. Um, none of them really match up to this. I don't think this might be the best castle. There's a couple of smaller castles in um, Elden Ring that are pretty pretty impressive. But if you include the graphics. Oh, 
Well, it didn't have half the effect that the rapier did. The rapier was taking all of his health off, and now this is doing nothing. Okay, I have to find out why that is. Because, ow. Number one rule: don't health health up in front of an enemy as well. I need to remember that. Otherwise, I'm not going to get very far in this game. Or indeed, this fucking series. Oh, he's fucking bastard. Shit. Kill the fucking archers first. Always kill the archers first. Right, where were we? Oh, you bastard! Oh, God. There we go. Take that. use magic for this bit. The easiest strat in the book. Okay. We actually did slightly better. I wasn't expecting to maybe uh, get to Tower Knight so soon. Lizards. We'll be seeing a fair bit more of those over the course of this run and the course of this series. A controversial figure, of course, as they can lead you into a lot of trouble. Okay. Ow. Got to pick up all the shinies. That was really re just, I didn't have to kill them, that was really just revenge for um, such an annoying section of the, the level. Okay. Tower Knight it is then. Can I, is this anything that you open? I don't think so. Uh, maybe it is. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's do it. Right. I think strategy is kill all. Let's see, anyway. <laughs> what? Oh, you can just feel the... You can just feel the, the, the heft of the attacks, it's crazy. Ow. Oh! Uh oh. How did that not kill me? Whew. Okay. Oh, 
dear god. Getting a barrage of abuse. Don't think he can get me from up there, but... Damn it! Now I've got to go down and take them on. There's that one guy down there still left, I think. Oh, hello, and you. Is that everyone? That might be everyone. Is there no guy left here? There you are. Woo! Ow! Smooth fight, by any means. Okay, how the fuck am I gonna do this? No, that's not gonna work, is it? Damn it. No, it won't get him through there. PS5 control is unbelievable for this kind of combat. Oh. Phew. You can just literally feel the metal. No, oh, I don't want to go for the shield. Come on. There's a bit in every boss fight where you get to the stage where if you lose now you'd be devastated and you'll see that a few times, this is, we're now at that point and I'm sure I'll die a few times at that stage, I'm really hoping not to die here just because of the tedium of the dragon. Uh -oh. Ow, oh my god. Well, that's annoying. I was in complete control of that fight. 
was in complete control of it and I fucked it up. That's so annoying, I was so close. Just got stuck. Luckily without the dragon it should be a pretty straightforward run back. I think I can do it without getting killed. Just choked. You know, with all this stuff I picked up that I forgot about, so as long as I get my souls back, it could actually work out pretty well. Alright, lads, calm down. Shit. It's true what they say in Demon Souls, the areas really are the bosses. Apart from, of course, the bosses. They're also bosses. But you know what I mean. Okay. Oh no! Oh, okay. I forgot that this run up's still a fucking ball ache, even with. Oh god. I should have. I was so close to just getting over this bit. Now we've got to run all the way back. Okay, and the boss run ups um, in this one, in this bit, not too bad. My fat rolling. Kind of. I'm wondering about whether to... Let's go with the rapier. Devastated that I couldn't beat. Oh, it's just so annoying. And that's the bit that I was exactly you're talking about when you're that close to fucking hell We've still got enough guys there's fucking 17 bloody archers here Right, let's see if we can settle back into it, get over that initial disappointment. I've got it, at least I know the, at least with this guy I know the strategy. Like the strategy was faultless, it was the, the fucking execution that sucked. Oof. So powerful. Woo! Close, too close. Maybe let's use the battle axe for this bit now. Just because it can do the pure. I don't need to. Just need two hit kills. This guy. Maybe blown through my grass a bit too quickly.
Oh. I don't know if I've killed everyone here. Maybe have. Just double check, do a final recon. Whoa! Okay. I think that's everyone. Probably need to make myself a bit lighter. Why is it only hitting your feet? Okay. There we go. Gotta not get trapped by him. That attack's pretty slow and easy to avoid. No! Uh oh. No! I could get one more cheeky hit. Oh, fucking. That feels so stupid. Woo! There we go, that's the one right in the mush. Oh, just that corner of that fucking shield. Just gets him every time. Ah, the stamina management's gonna be really... Fuck off, that's no way. Also the nerves start to go. That's it. annoying me so much that I can't just keep clipping him am I trying to bait out an attack I'm not entirely sure what I want to do I picked the health over attack. Oh, finally. Tricky fight.
absolute classic. Imagine n never having played one of these games before and just being confronted with that in your second time around. Unbelievable. Of course, in a normal game, ah, I can't go. Well, that's because this game is awesome and knows exactly what it's doing. Cool, so we are down. Down Phalanx and Tower Knight. Good start. I've got a decision to make. All right, let's see. Um, we've started. We've got a decision to make about what to use or what to start leveling up. I think the battle, the fact that the battle axe is too, I can only work two-handed. Even though if I'm not using the shield too much, I don't, I don't think that's going to be worth it. A spear, I've never really used a spear before. Well, it's all pretty irrelevant now. Because I haven't got any of them. So let's try the mail breaker. That could solve all of my... That could solve all of my health. Mm. Well, it was a good. Okay, let's try and squeeze one more level in then before we log off for tonight. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let's. Um, this is Stonefang. <laughs> Hello there. Souls, souls. I trade fine goods for souls. So clearly, everyone in Demon Souls is Scottish. Um, not quite sure what's going on there, but. <laughs> uh, Mm, the pickaxe might have been a good choice. I don't think it really matters, to be honest. Maybe, probably useful item to have. Okay. And I've just realised I'm in human form, so we want to maybe go back down to soul form. But yeah, I'm really happy with the progress that we've made um, today. Um, hopefully, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of um, the next boss in the next area. Um, it's got to be done at some point. So we'll give that a go. Um, but if, if not, I'm very happy with two bosses and one uh, mini boss done to date. And what better way to celebrate the progress that we've made um, other than a... <laughs> totally suicide attempt in the Nexus. I'm really glad that they got rid of this mechanic. It, it's it's so stupid to have to go and kill yourself um, if you want to keep the world easy, or if you don't want to make things harder for yourself in the um, different arch zones. There's nothing about killing yourself in um, in the in the hub area. You shouldn't have to do that. Cool, off to Stonefang it is. Okay. 
do it. Probably should have put that back to stop Paul Thomas, but. So I love how there's five different, very different worlds here. I'm not a huge fan of this area in general, but what I am a fan of is how different it is to that one of com five completely different areas. It's so cool. And maybe not until Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 kind of had that a bit, but. Okay, these guys go down in one hit. That's reassuring. And we're back to stabbing humanoids up the ass. Oh, dogs. Dogs. Somewhere. I know they're here. I can s smell them. They're biding their time. Funny, I could have. Oh, there they are. At some point, we're gonna have to figure out how to use that crossbow. Maybe now will be a good chance. Don't want to rely on magic for my ranged weapon. There you go. Oh no. But for now. Oh god. As you can tell, I'm not a fan of dogs in Souls games. Okay, let's see if we can get this crossbow going. Because I'm going to have to figure out how to use it. Okay, that's not too bad. And he takes on fat officials pretty easily. Woo! Got a bit cocky at the end there, whoops. Yeah, that's going to be useful in a pinch. Um, I'm thinking Valley of Defilement. Um, that's going to be quite useful for some range combat there. Ideally, I really would want the Lava Bow, that which is an awesome bow. But I can't always get. Let's see if I can parry this guy. <laughs> the answer is yes. Oh, always forget that guy's there. <laughs> okay. 
gives me time because I've got to think about how I'm going to deal with the boss of this area. Um, because it is nightmare fuel in a lot of ways. Absolute nightmare fuel. Okay. Let's maybe see if we can go back to the crossbow. Oh God. Oh, didn't mean to disturb you. Well, I remember them being scrappers. Let me backstab you. Such a cool area of mining, and in an aesthetically, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Not really so much of a fan of any of the bosses in this area, to be honest. Um, but 381 of them in the whole run. There'll be plenty of cool ones. Okay, let's see if we can. No, that's not working, is it? Yeah. That's cool. I didn't realise there's another way around here. That official is a bit of a knob. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice comforting thought looking down here and seeing the 49 um, health items. Nice, that's where we want to be, we're toddling along nicely. Well, I don't think we have to kind of take down that fat official now, but I really want to because it's such a lovable bastards okay where do we go because he's not going to make it easy for me okay Real big fan of their character design. It's just so goofy, um, but they can hit hard as well. <coughs> there's some there's some enemy weird designs we'll see across the seven games that are you know hilariously goofy. Um, the ones that always come to mind are the ones in Lost Isolith, the Chaos Eaters. Uh, really silly looking, but the main thing that's so good about the, the main flaw with them is they're just they're not they're not uh, powerful enough. They they don't they're not a, a threat really. But these guys can do damage. Uh oh. 
Can these be backstabbed? They can. Just rubbing their belly. Like a... You really are a fat bastard. There we go. Again, at this point, it's a prize thing. There we go. Beautiful. Some nice items there. Oh, bollocks. That's not what we wanted. Well, it just means I get to do a final sweep. By the way, uh, apologies, I do swear, especially when I play these games. It's part of it. Anyone's got any problem with that? Obviously. Just a warning in advance. No, no judgment if it's going to put you off, but... I swear when I play computer games, it's just the way of it, I'm afraid. I wonder if it's some... I am wondering whether or not... I think you might get the lava bow in World 3. So we'll see at this boss whether or not I can do it without the lava bow. I don't like getting up and close against it for reasons that will become clear if you don't know who it is. You'll see why. But... I just don't want that thing enough to go over there. They can wreck you. That thing over there. Gank. I probably need to get rid of this lava bow. Uh, need to get rid of this crossbow. You gang up on me, I'll use ranged magic on you. Seems like a fair deal. Oh, another one of those surprise attacks. See if I can parry him. Yep. Make, need to make sure that my parrying is some some decent level. Mailbreaker's not bad. Don't mind the move set. Might keep it. Okay, I think there's a big lot of guys down there. Big load of bastards. So let's see what we were. Let's go back to that bit of the tunnel and see what was further down.
tap me with a bag, will you? Okay. So now we're at the top, back to where we were. Another great level design. And you, there might be a shortcut here, I think. Or something like that. Oh, this takes us down to the guy we want to meet. Trying to keep things repaired as much. Well. Looks like I'm going with the mail breaker then. Mm. I don't think I'm using that enough right now. Okay. Yep. Another Scottish guy. So basically, all the NPCs are Scottish. <laughs> died yet in this area so sh people should still be cleared out oh I want that oh well I'm sure it's nothing that important he says famous last words okay cool so we've, we've got the shortcut to Ed he's going to be able to level up our weapons a fair bit more powerfully than before but I think we need to push forward rocks at me. Okay. There's quite a lot of these one was going to get me right. <laughs> I'm too... Now somewhere we want to turn, there's a water wheel somewhere that we're going to want to turn to put out a lot of this. Sounded like dogs. Not dogs again. In the words of Indiana Jones, why has it got to be dogs? Those stupid deaths, I've really got to cut them out. Running back to it. There's no sights of grace, there's no bonfires here. It's all 
your own hard work. See if we can get away with not having to go through all this again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. Well, okay. And yeah, generally, I think that this is uh, one of the big flaws about Demon Souls. Unfortunately, is it just I, I, I do like to take risks as a player. Like, don't get me wrong, I do. Um, it just makes me more risk averse as a player because running through the bits is such a fucking nightmare. At least we opened that shortcut. Okay. All these guys are back. Thank you. Obviously, that'll be a you know, that's an interesting topic. Like, I know a lot of people are put off from the Soul series because of respawning enemies. Personally, I love it. <clears throat> Gives a real consequence to your mistakes, to your actions. Makes you really think hard about what you did. Okay, we're back to where we were before I made that stupid mistake. Uh, it's worth it. Well, maybe it wasn't. Now I've got to go all the way back down here. Where are the dogs, man? Where are the... Oh, not all these guys again.
Which our first. Take that. Okay, so. Right, what was the thing that we did last time that we don't want to do this time? Oh, yeah. Get distracted by a shiny and not. Oh my god! <sighs> right, we're gonna have one more go at it before calling it a day for tonight. Those dogs, man, those dogs are bloody horrible. Jeez, Christ. That one doesn't count. I just wanted to see if I could run through it, but you're not able to. Because my suspicion is is that um, my long range weapon for this boss fight isn't going to be good enough. So oh. I've got to think of a better way to beat those dogs. Very telling that so far the dogs have been the hardest enemy in the game for me. Sounds about right.
Okay. I think I might kill those um, flame enemies. See what arrows do to them, because they're just complicating things for me when I get to this bit. The dogs are hard enough already without. Oh shit! Where did he come from? Give the these crossbow does on these fuckers. on every corner, eh? I see you. I see you. It's kind of cool how the flames go out on them when they die. Just those little touches are also cool. Oh, here are the dogs. I can get them from there. Nice.
I really hate dogs, man. Really hate dogs in these games. Come on. Okay. Any more dogs? <laughs> Maybe. I think we're at the bit that we need to be at. Ooh. Hello. Practice parrying a bit. Maybe now's not the time with the amount of <laughs> shit I've gone through. Maybe let's stick to backstabs, eh? Try parrying when I haven't got to go through an arduous uh, route back. Let's stick to what works. Oh my god. You're kidding me. <laughs> At least I haven't got to fight them all again, but that's so annoying. Gives you a chance to appreciate that amazing uh, level design. Once more. Into the breach difference. Labyrinthine is the word I'd use. Okay. Right, where were we? We're about to unlock the shortcut. Well, not the shortcut, but we're about to do... Sorry. It's not a very noble way of killing you, but I just need to get it done. Oh, finally. Okay, <coughs> pardon me, I think this is where we want to be going, maybe not, but it's somewhere around here. The water wheel has now stopped what wasn't there before, Bit here, yeah, that's the one. No, it's this guy. There we go. Woo! Oh! Well, that's not going to work. Mm. 
Okay. It's gonna have to be one hit and move. Because the wind up's it's so slow to uh, didn't stick to my own rule. mistakes. It's done to me again. I do like the crossbow, it's doing a decent amount of damage, but... I don't know if it's going to do enough damage to the thing that I've got to fight. Which might not be enough. And now we start. And just to call that awesome environmental level design storytelling, we start to see the uh, spider webs here. What horrible thing could be causing it? Well, unfortunately for us, we're about to find out. Now some of you might not be happy with the strategy that I use for this next fight and for those people I would like to say that's your own opinion. Um, I personally am not a huge fan of the particular cre type of creature that we're going to see um, in real life. I don't want to get too close to it. From Soft do have a number of these uh, enemies in their games and I will be having no choice but to get up close and personal with some of them um, this one I can hang back so I'm going to choose to do that uh, maybe let's keep that one I've got Go. That's not going to help me. That's probably not going to help me either. Okay. to remember the the spot. I've got to see whether or not I can actually uh, use the fucking bow on this. Ugh. Oh, 
Oh dear. Mm. Okay, I'm going to need to think of a strategy to uh, beat this guy. But yeah, I think that'll do it for tonight. Um, we got all the way up to the boss of the second level and we know what we need to do. So um, we've defeated two main enemies and done one more. So I think we can just leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us, just over three hours as well. So thank you for those who, of us who, who have watched. Thank you so much for your time and um, see you on the next stream.